Introducing the Nexus 360, Diderio's first rechargeable omnidirectional tuner. Visible at every turn, from any angle, no matter where you wind up. Nexus 360, built for your next stage. What's up, everybody? This is Perry with Premier Guitar here in Nashville, Tennessee at the Brooklyn Bowl. We got uh, Steve Brogdon today helping us go through Gary Holt's gear this of happens. Exodus. Yep. And man, dude, thank you so much for taking the time because I know you guys have a shitload going on on this tour. If you can't tell from behind us, like Gary's gear is like kind of buried behind the back line and we were able to squeeze in here. Yeah, so there's thank a whole you. lot of gear on this tour. <laughs> yeah, so. dude, a bunch. <laughs> um, so we did a rig rundown with Gary in 2015 and he was running a really Spartan rig. It was like a, a Kemper and just a couple of guitars. Yeah. A lot has changed. A lot, yeah. A lot has changed. Probably, you know, most obviously to the, those of you watching, are custom cabs. They yeah. light up. Yeah, they're uh, arachnid cabs are out of Sacramento. It's just like a mom and pop company. You know, one guy in his, in his garage building these things, but they're awesome. Yeah, those are uh, super dope. The vintage 30s in it, and he's got these uh, signature halo lights inside of it so is it like some sort of led that yeah he's got like a piece of plexiglass with led lights around it yeah so and they change color too yeah yeah so I, we go through like the guitar list like what guitar he's using for what song and like let's make the let's make the cabs red for that song you know let's come out with purple that tonight is so, yeah, so awesome um another big change uh from kemper he's back playing marshall amps yep you know what i mean um jubilees yep right yeah just one jubilee we have to have a backup, a backup there as well yep um, the last time I talked to Gary, he was modeling like an 87 Marshall that he had at home that doesn't leave, you know. Yeah, that was like his original modded Marshall that, it, you know, it was on a bunch of records but doesn't leave the house now. Do you know what mod it had by chance? Uh, it was a Langer mod, I believe. Uh, yeah, I've never seen it. It's like at his house, but. Gotcha. But the Jubilees are what you're rocking on Bone this tour. stock Jubilees, yeah. So, you know, of all the high gain amps on the market right now, especially now, you know, mm -hmm. when Exodus started, there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Yeah. You know, they were kind of like making it up as they went along. They created the yeah. sound, you know. So what is it about the Jubilees that he's digging? <sighs> you know I, what I mean? Like yeah. is it, an 800 kind of can do that the, thing. I don't or? know. It's the, they're really low gain. I think he's on like three or four. So, so is he getting gain with the pedals? A lot of, a lot of gains in his pedals. Yeah. His uh, signature Protone. It's got like a mid boost in there too. Wow, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, just like an old school, uh, what are those called? Green tube screamer, you oh. know? So. It does the trick, man. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of pedals, he's got a couple on the floor mm -hmm. and then a couple in his rack yeah. for, for changes that you're making yep. um, with a ground control, right? Yeah, everything in the rack is all being switched by the GCX. Cool. So. Do, do you know off the top of your head what exactly is in the rack? I think we, we can get some pictures for you yeah. guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a chorus. Uh, we have the flanger in there for the clean tones. Uh, noise gate, of course. You gotta have a noise gate for thrash metal. It's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's really not a lot of stuff, yeah, no. considering. Yeah. You know. And then on the ground, he's got a couple of things over there. I know that he um, is a wah guy for sure. Yeah. And he's got a couple of mover pedals. He's got like a, a tube screamer sort of thing. When he feels like he just wants a little more gain, he'll kick uh, that on. Like one of the, those little mini pedals? Yeah, it's like, the, like awesome. the half size. Yeah, yeah, they're super cool. Love those. But then also a. Uh, an octave pedal as well. Sure. He always kicks that on in like, you know, big rock and roll moments. Well, then he's got a, a doom saw. I think if the company does it doom, but it's just like a bunch of fuzz and it might even have octave in it. It's just this gnarly fucking, I'm oh, sorry. Do you, I heard, no, yeah. you can cuss all you want. Dude, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. I actually heard him kick yeah. that on yeah. um, during sound check earlier and I was like, holy shit, yeah. what is it's that? It's a doom pedal. because I want to start a doom band and just use this. You, know? <laughs> you could totally so, do it, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean those. I mean, pedal wise, it's playing really, really well with the Jubilees. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All through the front, nothing, no effects, loops, nothing, you know. So it's old school. Yep, love that. Um, beyond that, we have a bunch of guitars on out with you guys now. Um, I guess Gary's doing a thing where you can buy like a Gary played. Yeah, guitar. stage use. You'll, you're using like the last three songs of the set, and That's then sick. the guy gets on the guest list, comes back, he gets to sign it, photos, and you know. So nasty. Yeah. Do you, um, so right before the pandemic, Chris and I actually had the opportunity to go to Japan and check out the ESP oh, factory yeah. and their custom shop, and it made me even more of a fan of ESP because man, yeah. even the LTD stuff, it's like a guy like Gary that plays an yeah. Exodus and Slayer can fucking grab it and rip. Yep. And like out of the box, it sounds awesome. Like Bone stock, yeah. It's too cool. Well, let's go through some of these guitars because he's got cool. some really, really sick shit. Yeah, so we have uh, this Goldie, he calls it. This was a lot of like the Slayer runs and stuff like that. Uh, this thing's a tank. 
probably sounds the best. It's just got that yeah, that's know, heavy, heavy too. weight to it. But uh, we got FU Tone stuff inside of it. We got his signature EMGs as well. In the everything. 81, 89 R. 89R, yeah. yeah. Which, it's in everything. Which basically so. the 89 is an 85 with a pull pot that goes to a single a coil. A single coil, yeah. But it's the middle, it's more of a middle position kind of sound with the R, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. But it's got the, it goes with coil taps. And is he thing. using that? I mean, uh, lead stuff maybe? No, I think he has in the studio, sure. but nothing in this set. Gotcha. There might be something in the future, but basically just that. Yeah, locking nut, which yep. is pretty, a, pretty must have for yeah. any kind of Floyd situation. Totally. Yeah. Totally, that thing is great, man. I yeah. love a gold top, and ESP's take on it is just so yeah. sick. <laughs> and the binding almost glows, like. Oh, and the fluorescent yeah. lights hit. They're, it's it's so awesome cool. looking. But uh, cool. that's one of the mains. He's also got the Prince the tribute. Purple rain and blood. <laughs> purple rain, yep. <laughs> that is so nasty. Dude. Let's see the front of that. Got the, the upside down. The gold <laughs> leaf, upside down cross. So cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. I yeah. love the white pickup covers. Yeah, and we got the uh, purple FU tone in it as well. Oh, top. the anodized stuff? Yep. It's hard to see in this light. But oh, yeah. Man, we've seen a lot of FU tone stuff going on with yeah. Floyd's, you know. It's awesome. We man. just did Anthrax for Grundown. It's like the month of thrash, dude. Yeah. We did Municipal Waves, <laughs> we did Anthrax. We got you guys today. This is yeah. awesome. This has the, uh, you know, the Luminous. light up size. Yeah. No, the, not the luminous legs. They're actually uh, LEDs. Oh, no shit. If you get an angle of that. Like kind of so shine. there's an extra battery in there, so you yeah. get lights up. Separate yeah. from the. Oh uh, yeah, you can see them. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Separate from the, uh, you know, the pickup battery. Dude, I fucking love a themed guitar. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. What else? That's another you? one of his custom shops. Oh, see, this one has uh, also. Yeah. LEDs too. So this is another custom shop, the Officer Holt. It's got a Holtville, California, badge embedded in it. More gold leaf, Officer Holt. It's got the blue Fu tone. <laughs> Dude, and here's my favorite, the 50 cal all the way down to yeah. 22. Uh, yep. Then the shotgun shells. Then the shotgun shells. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to Gary earlier. He said uh, um, they were having trouble getting those into Japan because yep. they were so weird yeah. about the bullets, huh? Yeah, That's they made crazy. it happen, though. That's cool and then, they pulled it off. To mention that, there's these uh, fat cables out of Poland. Oh, yeah. So they're, everything's matching, cord you know, color coordinated, gold and blue for that, this guy. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's a pretty short run because you're on wireless everything, right? Yeah. Very cool. Fat cable. Yep. Had any issues with those? No, they're awesome. And then this is new to this tour. He bought it just to buy it. It's Kirk Hammett's oh, signature. Sure, yeah. But uh, he got it home and he's like, I'm bringing this on tour. This thing's freaking awesome. Huh? Yeah. And it's an LTD. It's yeah. scalloped out of the factory, too. That's a trip. We just put the green FU tone in yesterday. Love that. Yeah. It's such an interesting headstock choice. You yeah. Know what I mean, it just. It, it's not a. Uh, it's not something you typically no, see it's from LTD or ESP, you know. Yeah. But it's nice though. It yeah. Plays really well, and it's just a you know an LTD. Very cool. Now it's the 30th anniversary, I think it says. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Now I know you guys use a lot of the FU tone parts. Mm -hmm. Are you doing the blocks and stuff and everything? Um, like, some of the stuff has blocks. Yeah, some of the stuff we got to get in there and route to make it fit. Oh, because facilitate it needs the big a block. Room, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. You you run out of room on your on uh, your bar if you put a fat one in there. You lose some of that travel. Yeah. Huh? So we got to get in there and you know cut cool. a bunch of wood out to make it happen. Gotcha. But uh, yeah, Super I think slick. all these guys have big blocks in them. Uh, this one doesn't yet, but it will. Yeah. <laughs> and then and also then new the arrow to, too. Yeah, right? new to this tour as well. Which, dude, the white yeah. on white, the FU Tone white parts yep. are so sick. That's yeah, sick. and these are actually the first ones to be sent out by FU Tone, so no one else has these yet. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty Those awesome. are rad, man. What a fun shape. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's great. Now, um, a couple of years back uh, at NAM, mm -hmm. the ESP guys were cool enough to let me kind of come to their little back room, and um, they showed me this really special guitar made for Gary where they had taken like a couple liters of his blood and had oh, an artist yeah. fucking paint like a demon yeah. on it. That was a Vincent Castiglia, the artist, and he painted big old demon, you know, big old horns going down. It was like, and, so gnarly. Yeah. Is that like a stay at home kind of piece? Uh, he took it on a lot of the Slayer runs. Uh, he talked about bringing it on this one. I was like, yeah, bring it, you know. Yeah, but that thing is so nasty. Some smaller clubs makes it hard. He like, yeah. you know, wants to keep a good eye on it when it's out. But this is the stage used guitar for tonight, so. Oh, rad, yeah. Uh, if you see it, this is your guitar later. But uh, so I mean, you know, anybody that knows Exodus or just yeah. Gary's playing from Slayer, he beats 
the fuck out of a tram. Oh, you, he's, he's holding up. Yeah, he'll just like hold it and yeah. fucking shake it and stuff. Like, are you having to do a ton of work every night to like get him no, to stay or they hunker down? Everything's pretty good. I do a lot of good stretching, right. you know, before just to make sure. And I'm double checking and triple sure. checking on tuning before it goes out to him. But I get it back and I'll check it and it's really close. Right. But okay, I'm happy with that, you know, but. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and then all, I almost forgot, Gary also now has signature strings, right? Yeah, yeah, Doyle Von, or Von Frankenstein gear, I think it is, but uh, by Doyle, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, he makes them. So he's got a, a drop tune set, which is a, uh, I think it's a 10 to 60, 9 to, 9 to 60, and then a 9 to 52 is the other ah. set. Which is actually kind of light, considering. What, what tunings is Exodus running? Uh, D standard, and then the drop stuff is drop C. Gotcha, yeah. Cool, man. Well, dude, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you taking the time to yeah, no run us through this gear, especially under the circumstances of being, uh, uh, having so many bands and oh yeah, it's a so much busy going on day here. for sure. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, um, Instagram, YouTube, all the fun stuff. We'll see you soon. Appreciate it.